Indy's expansion of the Indiana Convention Center just reached a major milestone with the largest concrete pour in city history. City tourism officials shared a time lapse video of the project stretching for several hours. You can see it behind me here to fill the foundation for the future Signia Hotel. What was once Pan Am Plaza will become the new Signia by Hilton Hotel. It'll be the city's tallest and have the largest ballroom in the state. Visit Indy says even before the hotel's finished. Events like Gen Con, the National FFA and FDIC have all recently renewed their commitments to Indy for the next several years. That hotel far from the only project in downtown right now. Cranes, bulldozers, you name it, scattered all throughout the city this summer. CBS 4's Claire Curry gives us an update from some of the biggest work sites. The Indianapolis Convention Center is growing and the Pan Am Plaza is under construction, but there are several other projects underway here in the Circle City. The largest concrete pour in the history of Indianapolis signifies one of the major steps being taken to put the city on the map. We compete daily viciously with Nashville, Austin, Orlando, Denver, New York. This project differentiates Indianapolis because of the brand of the hotel, because of its proximity to the convention center itself, and because of the newness uh, of the project as a whole. The 800 room hotel and sixth expansion of the convention center is bringing in major conferences like Alcoholics Anonymous and the National Education Association. Construction is expected to be complete on time. We feel we have the perfect amount of cranes in the air as a city to grow tourism, not too many. Some cities are overbuilding. Here in Indianapolis, we are very methodical in putting new projects online. The mayor says that it's estimated over the next five years, downtown will see $9 billion in investments for new infrastructure. Currently, phase two of Bottle Works construction is nearing completion, and the $4 billion IU Health project is well underway. 16 Tech continues to expand. Uh, Elanco is coming out of the ground across the river in the GM stamping plant site. Along with transforming Circle Center and City Market, the mayor hopes these changes will attract new people to Indianapolis, along with the city's bid for a new Major League Soccer team. If it goes through all the approval process, uh, the addition of a soccer-specific stadium uh, over at the heliport site, the city of Indianapolis is going to look much different than it does today. Now we'll continue to follow the progress of these developments as they progress. Reporting downtown, Claire Curry, CBS 4 News.